Hello, welcome to, Basic Timber, and, Steel Design. Now, we are going to do an example on design of tension members for an axial load capacity of a tensile member with lateral load. Here is the question. A truss rafter tie of 38 mm x 100 mm section is 2.7 m long and is subjected to a lateral concentrated load of 0.65 kN at mid-length. Determine the maximum medium term axial tensile load that the rafter tie can carry. Assume a timber in strength class SG4, standard and dry. The first step is to determine the geometrical properties of the cross section to be calculated our cross sectional area, radius of gyration and section modulus using the respective formula as shown in slide. These values will be used in the next steps. The slenderness ratio of tension members should be calculated as the length divided by the radius of gyration. Refer to clause 13.4. The slenderness ratio should not exceed 250 for tension member carrying dead and imposed loads other than loads resulting from wind. The check is satisfactory since the slenderness ratio less than the limit 250. Step number 3. Since a truss rafter tie assumed to be a timber in strength class SG4, standard and dry. Grade stress for SG4 species. Standard grade stresses parallel to grain is refer to Malaysian Standard Table 4 which dry grade stresses of timber for moisture content less than 19%. The value of bending parallel to grain is 13.2 newton per millimeter square, tension parallel to grain is 7.9 newton per millimeter square and minimum modulus of elasticity is 7600 newton per millimeter square. These values will be used in the next step number 6 and step number 7. Modification factors should be applied to the grade stresses as given in tables in Malaysian standard to obtain permissible stress. There are 7 modification factors need to be considered for tension member, K1 up to K6 and K10, based on the given situations. Refer Table 5 for a modification factor K1, for duration of loading. In this question, for a condition of load duration medium term, K1 is 1.25. There are no information given, related to modification factor K2, K3, and K4. Hence, modification factor is 1, for K2, K3, and K4. Refer clause 12.5 for a modification factor K5, for form factor. In this question, K5 only have values for solid circular and solid square sections. Therefore, for a rectangular section, the modification factor is 1. Based on clause 12.6, a modification factor K6, for depth factor is 1, for this section since the depth, H is 100 mm which is lesser than 300. Based on clause 14.2, a modification factor, K10, for width factor is 1.17, for this section since the solid timber has width, B, is 38 mm which is lesser than 72. Now, we are already having a modification factors K, for all the situations given by the question. K1 up to K6 and K10, based on the given situations. Now, let's move to next step. Step number 5. Lateral point load is 0.65 kN is given by the question. Applied moment need to calculate it. Knowing that the applied moment is load multiply effective length and divided by 4. Hence, Applied moment is 0.44 kN meter. In steps number 6, we need to check the satisfaction of bending stress. The applied bending stress is applied moment over section modulus. M is applied moment, calculated as 0.44 kN meter. And, section modulus is 63333.33 mm cube. 
the applied bending stress is 6.93 newton per millimeter square. The permissible bending stress determined by multiplied grade stress by all related modification factors become 19.31 newton per millimeter square. The bending stress is satisfactory due to applied bending stress not exceed the permissible bending stress. Step number 7. The permissible tensile stress determined by multiplied grade stress by all related modification factors become 11.55 newton per millimeter square. The tensile permissible stress will be used in interaction quantity formulas checking in the following step. Final step is to check the interaction quantity formula in clause 14.3, for members subject to axial tension and bending. The combination of tension and bending stress must be equal or less than 1 to satisfy interaction quantity formula. Refer to the question, we need to determine the capacity of the axial tensile load of the Tiken support. By substituting all the values of stresses from previous steps with the condition of interaction quantity is satisfy, equal to 1, the applied tensile stress calculated by rearranging the formula become 7.4 newton per millimeter square. The axial tensile load capacity of the tie is calculated by rearranging the formula of tensile stress. The applied tensile stress multiply by area, 3800 millimeters square. Thus, the T capacity that the tie can support is 28.12 kN. Now, we already determined the value the axial tensile load capacity of the truss rafter tie. All the best. And thank you for your attention.